I think talking to my talking to my agent, um, it just seemed like the best situation when it came to the culture and really just the type of building that you want to be in. Um, and I, I kind of experienced that honestly when I was here playing this year uh, with Seattle. Uh, you kind of realize that playing throughout the game, just that the players were really close, uh, the coaches were really close with the players. Um, just seemed like a great place to be. So, and I talked to Josh um, the day before I committed to signing here and. He had nothing but amazing things to say. So I just thought, you know, with the situation, signing one year here, and I was really excited to do it. So it seemed like a great situation. Yeah, I know you guys overlapped for a couple seasons at Wyoming, and the chemistry that you were able to build up in college, how do you think that's going to help you two on the field this season? I think it'll help, help us out a lot. I think that uh, obviously that was close to five years ago at the same time. Um, Josh is just a baller, so um, I love playing with him. And, and honestly, that was a huge deciding factor for me coming here was getting to play with him again. And he's, he's that type of guy that uh, you feel confident in the huddle with. Um, he's hilarious. And uh, I'm excited to play with him again. It'll be a great time. Emmanuel Sanders seemed a little bit, um, he, he seemed like he didn't realize that Josh was a goofball, but he definitely said that too when he talked to media. So glad yeah. to know he's, he's the same person that he was in college. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think uh, it's easy to, to realize that, like two minutes of hanging out with Josh. So I'm glad that he could see that. I love it. Thanks, Jacob. Welcome to Buffalo. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jacob. John Scott here from Spectrum News TV here in Buffalo. Uh, welcome to town here. Uh, I'm sure you'll get a plethora of uh, wings suggestions as, yeah. as you go along. Uh, but sticking with Josh, what could you see from him back during your Wyoming days that makes it so it's not a surprise that you're seeing what he's doing here uh, now a few years into the league? Yeah, I think the first thing that I, I realized about Josh um, as he was coming in, because I actually hosted Josh when he came into Wyoming for his visit, and you could tell that the confidence was there right away. And, and I think that especially as a quarterback, you have to have all the confidence in the world in yourself and your ability. And um, Josh is that type of guy where obviously there's been times in his life that people have questioned him and, and his ability. Uh, Wyoming was his only you know, D1 offer, I'm pretty sure. And, and he just kept trucking and uh, he's just done an incredible job. And he's just that guy you wanna be in the huddle with. He has a ton of confidence, has a ton of confidence in his teammates, his coaches and everybody. So I think that's the first thing that I realized with Josh is like, this is a really confident dude. And that gives the rest of the team confidence around him for sure. And then focusing in on you and this opportunity, uh, I'm sure they didn't lay everything out specifically and say, this is what your role is going to be, but you know, what do you envision uh, your role is going to be and, and, and the part you'll play here on this offense that certainly uh, is coming off a great year. For sure. Yeah, I think I, I just want to be a football player. I feel like, um, you know, I, I love moving around, doing a lot of different stuff, but I just love the coaches feeling confident that I can do a lot of different things. And so whatever that role may be, I'm excited about. And, and obviously we'll get more into that, but I'm just excited. I like to think of myself as a football player. Uh, I love to win football games and be in the best uh, position to do that. So that's what I'm excited about. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Hey, Jacob, how are you? Sal Capaccio here, WGR Radio. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. I appreciate it. Um, you also played against the Bills when you were with the Patriots. Um, I think you played in three out of the four games when they matched up in 17 uh, and 18 when you came out. Um, what did you learn just about preparing for them, the coaching staff, the organization? Because that was obviously Sean McDermott's first year and second year here in Buffalo as well. Yeah, definitely. You learn quick that this team, um, they have a lot of attention to detail. And you could tell that, like I said before, the culture is amazing. You know, even when I was with the Patriots, we, we would talk about, you know, teams that, when you saw teams celebrating together, then you know that you're gonna to have to deal with them all four quarters because it's a team that's together and, and they're a unit. But when you see guys that celebrate by themselves and they're off doing their own thing, uh, that's, you know, we just gotta take care of that guy and then the rest of the team will fall apart. So uh, the Bills is a team where you see, you know, as a brotherhood, you see a lot of guys uh, celebrate together and that's the coaching staff too. And so that's something that I realized right away. And, and you just know that this team was gonna battle all four, four quarters and, and play hard. Can you give us a little insight on uh, how this transpired with the Bills? Um, did you have contact with them early in the free agency process? Was it something that happened a little bit later? A little bit later, I, I really let my agent take care of all that. I told my agent straight up, you know, I want you to take care of this. Let, you know, keep me updated. But at the same time, I, I told him, you know, the things that I were important to me. Um, and I feel like he had a good idea of that. And then obviously with the situation this year, uh, free agency was a little different with, with COVID, all this stuff going on uh, with the cap, just everything. But um, 
I'm really happy with how it worked out. And, and this happened, you know, just a few days ago. And, and uh, I'm really glad that it worked out the way that it did. Thanks, man. Looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate it. You too. Hey, Jacob, uh, Matt Perino from Syracuse.com. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes today. Um, I'm curious, you know, as you kind of look, you know, preliminary, obviously, you just, you just got here at this offense and, you know, kind of what they were able to do last year. And a tight end is a position that I think that the team and, you know, everybody involved wants more from. How does your skill set specifically fit in? Because I read a little bit about you and the fact that your, you know, your pass catching ability and your ability to run routes is what really stands out about you. Is that something that you think you bring and, and what can you bring? I think it definitely is. Uh, I think that my versatility is something uh, that I bring to a team that I'm really excited about. Uh, kind of like I was saying before, I'm just, uh, I like a, I like an offensive coordinator to have a really good feeling about moving me anywhere and being comfortable with it, uh, whether that's in the run game or the pass game. And so I want to, I want them to feel comfortable with me being outside wide uh, as a receiver in the slot, you know, in the backfield, whatever it is. Um, Cause I just love moving around and doing a lot of different things. So, you know, in the passing game, I'm excited, I'm excited about that. Uh, it'll be a mismatch in, in a lot of areas and, and in the run game too. You've been in a lot of different situations between two teams um, in four years in the league. You play with a lot of different players, and I'm sure all of those experiences are different and good and in their own way. What do you miss the most, though, about playing with Josh Allen? I miss his competitiveness. That's definitely the first thing that comes to mind. Um, I feel like everything that we've <laughs> that I, whenever I've been around Josh, it doesn't matter what it is, like golf, hanging around a locker room or playing like pong or something like he's just a very competitive dude and that's something that I love about him you know whether it's in practice or games and so I'm definitely excited to see that again did you talk to Brian Dable yet I did yeah what was that like it was awesome you could tell he uh has a lot of a lot of energy um very same thing like very competitive which I love uh definitely you can tell right away this is the type of coach that you want to play for so I'm excited about that thanks a lot Jacob of course Hey, Jacob, Dan Fates in Rochester. Congrats on coming to Buffalo. I, I just wonder how much are relationships important to these free agent signings? Because uh, as soon as you sign, I think a lot of people made the connection to Wyoming. How big is that? Like maybe in the media, do we not understand how important it is that you can reach out to somebody that you trust and like your relationship with Josh? Like, do you guys stay in touch over the last few years? Yeah, no, we've definitely checked in um, here and there. And I think that, I think the relationships are definitely important. I think that, you know, throughout the years, this being going into my fifth year, you get to know a lot of guys uh, throughout the league, players and coaches. And so, you know, right away, like you sign somewhere, you're thinking about signing somewhere, or you have a buddy who's about to sign somewhere. There's so many connections within those mm -hmm. teams that they're reaching out to each other and, and getting a feel for the guy. And so um, you realize so fast just how many small relationships within buildings guys have. And so that's something that you realize going through is like you, you better make sure you're not burning bridges and make sure that you're just building guys up and and keeping those relationships. And I've tried to do that. And obviously, somebody like Josh has is, is a, been a great connection for me and it worked out perfectly talking to him before I before I committed to signing here. That Wyoming connection. You know, I've talked to a couple other guys. I've talked to Coach Bowl about Josh. Like how much pride is that coming from? maybe not necessarily, you know, a, a power five school to, to kind of finding Sam. success. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, it's it's incredible. I feel like I've always taken pride in being uh, kind of an underdog story. Uh, God's just blessed me in so many ways, uh, coming from walking on and and uh, going to JUCO and, and going from there and getting re-recruited, being undrafted, all that stuff. But we definitely take a lot of pride uh, coming from Wyoming. It's a tiny little town in Laramie. It's a really cool little college town where there's like three restaurants everybody goes to and uh, we take a ton of pride. So it's really cool being back with Josh and Tanner, who's here. Um, being back with those guys is pretty awesome. So when you were a senior, uh, Seth Cottingham was the backup long snapper to Brendan Torelli's. And he just wanted me, he messaged me, to, wanted okay. to say hi. So uh, he said he looked That's up awesome. to you guys as a senior class. So congrats That's again, awesome. man. Thanks a I lot. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, good talk to you. Hey, Jacob, it's Jay Skursky with the Buffalo News. Uh, welcome to Buffalo. I, I know you don't know exactly when the game is going to take place yet, but have you already kind of started the trash talk with your brother? <laughs> I, you know, that's the first thing I saw, honestly, when I looked at the schedule. So, um, 
yeah. Well, I mean, one thing that I always look forward to because we never have had the chance to play each other because uh, we played together with the Patriots and through college, uh, he was at Arkansas at Wyoming. So we never had the chance to play against each other. So I'm still waiting for that day. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. And uh, just in, in general, you mentioned there a little bit, but coming through uh, or, you know, going through the process of, of entering the NFL and getting a chance to do it with him and then to see him be able to carve out a career as well as yourself, how, how neat has that been for your whole family? Yeah, it's been a huge blessing. I mean, that dude, my brother Cody is uh, just the hardest working um, guy that I've ever met and we just push each other in so many ways um, you know we always use the term no quit and everything that we do and that's something that has just held true for me and him so having you know him by my side through this whole journey is there's just no way I could have done it without him and I know that he feels the same way cool thanks again welcome to town yeah of course I appreciate it uh hey Jacob well one more for me um I meant to ask before what did you learn in two years playing with Russell Wilson? Because you're going from one MVP caliber quarterback to another. It had to be a, a pretty cool time in your career to play with uh, Russell. Man, it was incredible. You know, he became one of my best friends over there. Um, I'd have a, a page, you know, that's listed with things that I learned from Russ. Uh, and one of those things is just to have, you know, there's a difference between cockiness and confidence. And uh, Russ just has a really – clean, good confidence to him where he knows his ability and he knows what he brings to the table um, and who he is as a player. And so I feel like that's something that I've learned learned from Russ is, you know, speaking things into existence and having that confidence in yourself uh, and just getting to grow with him just as a person too. He's, uh, you know, leads Bible studies, doing all these amazing things um, that people don't see on the outside, but he really spends so much time developing those relationships with, with all the guys on the team. And so, I really, you know, learn more as a person from him than anything. But as, as a player, there's obviously another list of things, which is incredible. Thanks a lot. Of course.